Hello everyone. Welcome to UIAS. Let's discuss today's current affairs. Question 1 with reference to a recommendation by a panel formed by the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas, consider the following statements. 1. India should ban the use of diesel-powered four-wheeler vehicles by 2027 and switch to electric and gas-fueled vehicles in cities with more than a million people and polluted towns in order to cut emissions. 2. By 2030, no city buses should be added which are not electric, diesel buses for city transport should not be added from 2024 onwards. 3. India aims to raise the share of gas in its energy mix to 50% by 2034 15% now. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. The answer is A. India aims to raise the share of gas in its energy mix to 15% by 2030 from 6.2% now. To boost electric vehicle use in the country, the report said the government should consider a targeted extension of incentives given under the Faster Adoption and Manufacturing of Electric and Hybrid Vehicles Scheme fame, beyond 31st March. Diesel accounts for about two-fifths of refined fuel consumption in India with 80% of that being used in the transport sector. The panels said new registrations of only electric-powered city delivery vehicles should be allowed from 2024 and suggested for higher use of railways and gas-powered trucks for the movement of cargo. The railway network is expected to be fully electric in two to three years. The panel said India should consider building underground gas storage, equivalent to two months' demand as demand is expected to rise at compound average growth rate of 9.78% between 2020 and 2050. It suggested the use of depleted oil and gas fields, salt caverns and aquifers for building gas storage with the participation of foreign gas-producing companies. Question 2 with reference to a study, Managing Forest Fires in a Changing Climate, published by the Public Policy Think Tank Council of Energy, Environment and Water, CEW, consider the following statements. 1. More than 62% of Indian states are prone to high-intensity forest fires. 2. Assam has seen the highest incidence of forest fires over the last two decades, and 95% of its districts are forest fire hotspots. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 1 only. B. 2 only. C. Both 1 and 2. D. Neither 1 nor 2. The answer is A. Mizoram has seen the highest incidence of forest fires over the last two decades, and 95% of its districts are forest fire hotspots. Andhra Pradesh, Odisha, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Uttarakhand, Telangana, and the northeastern states are most prone to forest fires, the study found. The ISFR 2021 estimates that more than 36% of the country's forest cover is prone to frequent forest fires, 6% is very highly fire-prone, and almost 4% is extremely prone. The forest fire season normally extends from November to June, and the majority of fires are caused by man-made factors, the report says. A report by the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change for 2020-2021 identified Western Maharashtra, Southern Chhattisgarh, parts of Telangana and Andhra Pradesh, and Central Odisha as becoming extremely prone to forest fires. An FSI study based on the spatial analysis of forest fires points during the period 2004-2021 has found that nearly 10.66% area under forests in India is extremely to very highly fire-prone. Question 3 Consider the following statements. 
One auroras are a collection of tiny flashes that occur when charged particles, electrons, protons, etc., collide with the gases in our planet's upper atmosphere. To a coronal mass ejection, CME, are bubbles of coronal plasma that are ejected from the sun over the course of several hours. Three solar maximum refers to the period with the highest and most intense solar activity. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only The answer is C. CMEs are bubbles of coronal plasma that are ejected from the sun over the course of several hours. They often occur alongside solar flares, which are explosions on the sun's surface but CMEs are also known to occur independently. Question 4 Consider the following statements about the Cyber Surakshit Bharat Initiative. 1. It is the initiative of the Ministry of Defence. To the mission is to spread awareness about cybercrime and build capacities of Chief Information Security Officers, CISOs, and frontline IT officials across all government departments. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 only B. 2 only C. Both 1 and 2 D. Neither 1 nor 2 Answer is B. It is the initiative of the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, METWI. Cyber Surakshit Bharat Initiative was conceptualized with the mission to spread awareness about cybercrime and build capacities of Chief Information Security Officers, CISOs, and frontline IT officials across all government departments for ensuring adequate safety measures to combat the growing menace and for organizations to defend their digital infrastructures and become future-ready in tackling cyber attacks. Question 5 With reference to cartilage, consider the following statements. 1. Cartilage is a bone-protecting tissue that absorbs trauma and allows for fluid joint mobility. 2. Cartilage also contains blood vessels or nerves. 3. Cartilage is composed of specialized cells called chondrocytes. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 3 only The answer is B. Cartilage does not contain blood vessels or nerves. Cartilage is composed of specialized cells called chondrocytes that produce a large amount of collagenous extracellular matrix, an abundant ground substance that is rich in proteoglycan and elastin fibers. Question 6. Consider the following statements about T-cell. 1. They are one of the important red blood cells of the immune system and play a central role in the adaptive immune response. Two T cells are born from hematopoietic stem cells, found in the bone marrow. Three T cells derive their name from the organ where they develop or mature. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only Answer is D. They are one of the important white blood cells of the immune system and play a central role in the adaptive immune response. T cells are born from hematopoietic stem cells, found in the bone marrow. Then, developing T cells migrate to the thymus gland to mature. T cells derive their name from this organ where they develop or mature. After migration to the thymus, the precursor cells mature into several distinct types of T cells. Question 7 Defense Minister had recently inaugurated the nation's first Indian Air Force Heritage Center in A. Jaipur B. Shillong C. Chandigarh D. Bhopal The answer is C. Question 8 Consider the following statements about bovine viral diarrhea, BVD. 
One, it is an economically significant disease of cattle that is found in the majority of countries throughout the world. To bovine viral diarrhea virus, BVDV, can be disastrous to pregnant cows because it can infect developing calves, causing spontaneous abortions and low birth rates. 3. Although it doesn't affect people, this virus is very contagious among cattle and can lead to serious respiratory and intestinal conditions. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only The answer is C. The causative agent, bovine viral diarrhea virus, BVDV, is a member of the genus Pestivirus of the family Flaviviridae. BVD infection results in a wide variety of clinical signs due to its immunosuppressive effects as well as having a direct effect on respiratory disease and fertility. In addition, BVD infection of a susceptible dam during a certain period of gestation can result in the production of a persistently infected pi fetus. Thank you everyone. Do subscribe to this channel. Use code SPLIVE to join an academy.